Have you guys heard of Bon Appetit? Yes, the magazines. The magazine, but also. But the drama. What? Okay, I so. I like drama. Well, it's relevant to what's it's going on in society right now. Oh, drama. Yeah. I didn't hear. You didn't hear? Okay, oh. so Bon Appetit is a food magazine. They also do like videos in like their test kitchen and stuff. And so the editor in chief named. Oh my gosh, where the hell is his name? Adam Rappaport. He has re like a photo of his past has recently surfaced. Um, first Blackface? This is what he looks like. And one Halloween, yeah. him and his uh -oh. wife You're right, Steve. decided Gotta be. to brownface. Oh. They decided to dress up as Puerto Ricans. And so this this photo surfaced recently. <laughs> Um, especially like with this climate right now, there's a lot of people in powerful positions that are apologizing for their racist past. And so this dude, he ended up getting called out and eventually... No, did he, did they put makeup on or anything? Mm -hmm. I, I guess just, he's that white, that that's his brown. I just see like a Dodgers <laughs> fan. Like, well, it was because of the caption too, where it's like, uh, uh, Boricua. Yeah, me and my puppy, hashtag Boricua. So like, they're clearly- What are they? To What's their background? Um, like Puerto Ricans, like trying to be a Puerto Rican for Halloween. So it's just like dressing up as a culture, you know, it's brown facing. So they're, they're calling this brown face. Is, what's his background? His background? Oh, he's the editor in chief. Sorry, ethnic background. Oh, I don't know. He's white, I'm assuming. He's Mexican. His last name is Rappaport. Oh. Yeah, that's not a uh, Puerto Rican. I guess I have to learn more. I guess I have to learn more about it to be more offended about it. Because I'm like, I'm not there yet. Is it, are they wearing the clothes? <laughs> I think we're both on the same. I thought they were wearing makeup. <laughs> yeah, because I thought he was being playing Daddy Yankee or something. Can we have a, an offended an offended scientist be here to be like, okay, here's what's offensive about this? I, it has to be. The I think it's well, just okay. I think it's because it's, it's a, the hashtag. Yeah, it's like the be the change. So this is how he views okay, uh, got Puerto it. Rican people. Got this it. is his lens of Puerto Ricans when they're like, wait, we're not a fucking costume. Okay, got it. We're okay. fucking. I thought people. he was wearing makeup. That's why I, I thought I was missing the part that he like oh, darkened no. himself. I thought he even gave himself a little sunburn or something. I don't know. I don't know. No, no, no. no, I think he's just trying to. Okay, so her hair is supposed to be like a Puerto Rican girl. Got it. Is like, it's still, like the stereotype of yeah. that. Got it. Exactly. I get it now. Cool. So like wearing gold chains and saying I'm black and doing this. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. This is what I've been saying. Sorry. No, go ahead. This is what I've been saying in the freaking entertainment industry because I don't look Filipina or I don't look Asian, even though I'm half Asian and half white, but I look Latina, and so they would always make me do Latina things. Like they would be like, can you do an accent? Can you, can you um, act more Latina? And I was, I felt like that was so like racist. Were you I'm like, just, they wanted me to be more of a stereotype. Yeah. Of, especially in comedy, like in the comedy, the CBS diversity showcase, oh. they, they needed me to be a stereotype of a Latina woman. And it was just so insulting. You're like, I'm not, I'm, I'm Asian though. Yeah. Right. One, I'm Asian. Two, if, even if I was Latina, I'd be so offended. Yeah. Yeah. But they make you do like all that. Yeah. Yeah. Like all of that. Like, and but we don't even do die. shit like that, yeah. though. I know, it's stupid. Really? They would no, I mean, they do that to, to black same. actors also. Like, you oh, be sure. more yeah. ghetto, be more hood. Like, yeah, what is like, ghetto? Like, you know, ratchet. Yeah. What is that? I don't know, that's y'all stuff. Yeah, I'm just yeah. directing you. <laughs> Hello, I'm just your director. Right. Oh, wasn't there a skit somewhere of, of like this like British actor? Was it Keem Peel? Oh, yeah, Keem Peel, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like he was able to like nail being like American black more than the, the actual American. Yeah. <laughs> took his job. Anyway, back to this story here. So, Adam, he eventually, after a lot of backlash, he ended up posting this. It says, I am oh. stepping down as editor in chief of Bon Appetit to reflect on the work that I need to do as a human being and to allow Bon Appetit to get to a better place. So he resigned. But what if it was a long time ago and he doesn't do that stuff anymore? It was 2013. Oh, the original one? That's yeah, seven that's years. Old. Isn't that seven years? That's a yeah, long time. Yeah, 2013. The thing is, I think with this, it's when people found out about it. Like, since this has never happened and nobody knew about it, yeah. it's a very, it's a gotcha you thing. Like, if he would have got ahead of this, like, look, 
you know, hey, we're all talking about this. Let me just let y'all know what I did or deleted the photo. There's some shit that you sometimes forget because like it didn't come from a place of anything, you know? Yeah, no, I think that's what I always, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar said this about like canceling people. He said, when did they do the thing? Was that considered offensive then? Did they know that was considered offensive then? I like that. Did they apologize now and have they changed? I right? like I that. I feel like that's a better mm. spectrum with which to jump, you know, like, mm. uh, so Bernie Mac has this this set that I love um, from Kings of Comedy, but he uses the F word like a lot, right? So at the time that came out, that wasn't really that offensive. Yeah, yeah. Right, but now it got it went viral again like um, six months ago. And I was like, oh my gosh, this is like man, terrible. Rest in peace. Right. But but the thing is, like, so if using Kareem Abdul Jabbar's thing, like that was offensive then, but not as offensive as it, as it is now. So, you know, if Bernie Mac were alive, he would probably have to you know, he wouldn't be able to make that type of joke. You know, he would have to apologize for 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 how that comes across, right? So it's like a lot of times people don't know. Like I'll use the term, we were talking about this at all deaf one time. The term tranny, right? It, it, it's offensive, but I didn't I didn't know. Like I interviewed a trans person on one of my shows, Aska, and she was saying um, how how it's offensive, right? But people thought it was descriptive. You know, or I thought it was descriptive, I didn't know it was offensive. But I only learned that like in January of last year. You know what I mean? So if I used that term seven years ago, I might not have thought it was offensive then. And I think you should allow people to learn from that type yeah. of stuff, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. But if you learn from something and you know it and then you still use it, then obviously you don't, you're don't. you not trying to become a better person, right? right. So yeah, I think that's, yeah. the, that's the issue that we have to hold people to is where are their intentions at? What was the climate well, like? Well, here's the thing more about this specific story though. So, uh-oh. Oh, so, there's more? There's more. more. Yeah. So, oh, Sola El Oily, an assistant food editor at Bon Appetit, she, this is what she looks like. Sleeve so, is sick. I know, her tattoos are cool. So, she ended up posting on her Instagram stories this. And so, would you like to read? I am angry and disgusted by the photo of Rappaport in brown face. I've asked for his resignation. This is just a symptom of the system systematic racism that runs rampant within the whole Condé Nast as a whole. Oh, yeah. I've been at Bon Appetit for 10 months. I'm 35 years old and have over 15 years of professional experience. I was hired as an assistant editor at 50K to assist In mostly white editors with significantly less experience than me. Last one. I've been pushed in front of a video as a display of diversity. In reality, currently, oh no. Yeah. Currently only white editors are paid for their video appearance. None of the people of color have been compensated. Whoa. Oh, for he gotta go then, bro. You running a you running a shady operation as a whole. Oh. That picture's just the beginning of it. And there's more. More, Nikki! Mm -hmm. What happened? This is not enough. <laughs> there's more. Well, bon appetit! Well, uh, just to focus on her is um so like she was saying that during the application process she asked for 65k a year and then an HR at the company said that they only had 50k for the position so she took it even though she has a fuck ton more experience than other like people that are white that are obviously getting paid a lot more and also this is in New York City like how yeah. the fuck do you survive off of 50k That's insane yeah, so anyway, so then, um, like she said, is that they asked her to stand in the background photo shoots and video shoots. And then also there was this other instance where she had an assignment to go to Philadelphia for a feature with three black chefs. But because of the fact that this publication, um, quote, doesn't have a great history of working with black chefs, the chefs that she was supposed to work with, they had asked that all the staff be black. And when she got there, she didn't know that that's what they requested. And obviously she isn't black. And so that just created a really, really oh, no. awkward situation. And it was very strange for everyone involved. And so, um, and, and there was also like this other chef who came out and was like, fuck that, I will never work with Bon Appetit again. That they had her uh, do a couple videos and she only got paid like 400 400 a video for video yeah and then so they it's just very pro problematic to the point where now um, other chefs that are in these, these videos they have voiced their support for Sola and for um, by by uh, by POC people so black ind indigenous BIPOC yeah yeah I don't know is that yeah. B-I-P-O-C, the whole thing? Okay. 
So yeah, so they said that they will not continue to be in front of the camera until BIPOC um, people are given fair titles, fair salaries, fair compensation for their work. So also with the cuisines, there was another thing that uh, they wouldn't. Uh, yeah, they wouldn't do any African cuisines because they're like, well, we don't think our readers or viewers, we think that's too complicated for them. We don't, they probably don't have those ingredients. Yeah, they're dissing their okay. readers too. But it's not bon appetit, bon appetit material. They're not that smart. <laughs> but they would do these like long ass Asian meals like that took like 60 hours to that's do and sure. had like all these crazy ingredients. So they, but they would highlight those chefs and that. Like African rice, ah, it's yeah. too much. You gotta boil they, it, you gotta. They did hot pockets made out of scratch. <laughs> Isn't all cooking hot, like, complicated? <laughs> yeah. For it, me it is. It is. If you try to go to like traditional recipes, they all, there's always something in any culture that takes like over a day to make. Yeah, so I'm killing live food on my table that's like moving around, I can't get to it. I think it's all pretty, it's, I mean, that's probably the hardest thing to do. Yeah, but did I cover it all? Yeah, but side note, uh, when I was looking at this drama, because everyone was talking about it on my Twitter timeline, but they would say BA instead of Bon Appetit, like sp spelling it out. They were like, and BA did this and BA did that. And I looked up BA because I didn't know who they were talking about, and it's Boeing. <laughs> it's like that's the Boeing uh, stock uh, abbreviation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, Boeing is <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> they got people cooking over there? It's ridiculous. Up food, like, they <laughs> fucked up over there. Whoa. <laughs> I had to Google the B I P O. I did too. I didn't know what I that was. I thought it was that's bisexual why, people of color. That's why I thought it was like BIPOC. Is yeah. that what what does it stand it? for? Black, Black indigenous, indigenous people, people of, of color. color. So it's like it's it's um it's distinguishing the fact that Black Americans and Indigenous uh, Native Americans they they go through a different like a completely different experience than other like people of color. So it's like an intentional um, classification. Yeah, like distinction. So who are not B B I P O C? Maybe it's like. Like regular POs? Yeah, we're uh, not. Got like Mexicans. Like oh, oh, so, okay, got it. Yeah. Anyone that's not that is white. Yeah. Got it. Oh, they're just regular POCs. Yeah, yeah. I didn't mean so to push yeah. you aside as I did that to you. Oh, I don't. <laughs> You're just like regular, regular POC. Basic POC. Yeah, POC. So like Asian, like Hispanics, Latinos. Got it. Okay. Um, probably, yeah. I think I, I, I don't know all of them. So black and, and Native Americans, basically, and Alaskan Native. Mm -hmm. I think. Got it. Yeah. 